EvWeb includes two image gallery widgets that make it easy to display image collections on your site. In this video, we are going to look at the image gallery widget. If you are using a center aligned page layout, add the widget to the page by drag and dropping it from the widgets tab onto your page. If you are using a responsive page layout, you will first need to add a responsive row widget to the page. Name the responsive row if you want. Then drag and drop the image gallery widget on top of the responsive row widget. Now that the widget is on your page, you can add images to the gallery by either clicking on the Choose button and selecting your images, by drag and dropping images from your hard disk, network, or cloud location onto the image gallery, or by drag and dropping images from the assets list onto the image gallery. Use the widget's grab handles to make the image gallery larger or smaller on the page. The image thumbnails will change as you increase or decrease the size of the widget. If you are using a center aligned page layout, you can use the placement icon in the top right hand corner of the widget to move it to the location where you want it to be on the page. If you are using a responsive page layout, also use the placement icon to move the widget to where you want it located within the responsive row. If you want to rearrange the images in the gallery, you can either select and drag the images in the widget's assets list, or click on the image in the gallery and drag it to where you want it located. To remove an image from the gallery, either select the image in the widget, then press the delete key on your keyboard, or select the image file name in the widget's assets list and press the delete key. When you select an image, a blue border will appear around the image, so that you can see your selection. To remove multiple images in a row in the widget's assets list, select the first image in the list, then hold down the shift key and select the last image before pressing the delete key. Use the command key instead of the shift key when selecting images that are not grouped together. Note that when removing images from the widget's assets list, the images themselves are still available in the assets tab. Each image can include a caption. Select the image you want to caption, then enter your caption text in the image caption field. If you can't see the caption, use the caption spacing option in the gallery appearance section of the widget to increase the spacing. The image gallery can have up to six columns of images. Just set the column count option as desired. To set the spacing between images in the gallery, use the spacing option. You can choose a value between 10 and 50. A gallery can have more than one page in it. Use the images per page option to set how many images per page you want. You can choose from 1 to 50 images per page. When you set the images per page option, EverWeb will automatically create links to the other gallery pages at the top of the widget. You can click on these links to view the other pages in your gallery. To change the font and font size of the links, click inside the page links area, then use the fonts panel to make your changes. As the links are hyperlinks, you will need to go to the hyperlinks inspector to change the color and underline options. You can also display these links at the top, bottom, or top and bottom of the widget using the show pagination options in the pagination options section. This section is also where you can create a style pagination instead of the default links to give your gallery a more professional appearance. 
Start by ticking the Style Pagination checkbox to activate the settings. You can now set the pagination button's background, mouse over background, selected, and disable background colors. By default, the buttons are square shape. Use the border radius option to round the corners of the buttons, and use the button spacing option to increase or decrease the distance between each button. Images can be displayed in either landscape or portrait orientation, or to fit or fill the available space in the gallery using the orientation option. When using default orientation or landscape orientation, you can also specify the vertical alignment of your images. Choose either top, middle or bottom. The image gallery widget also includes a slideshow feature with many customization options available. The first option allows you to set the image size in one of three sizes, small, medium or large. Use the small option for the fastest downloading and large for slowest downloading. Alternatively, you can choose original size, although it is generally recommended to use an option that allows the image to download as quickly as possible in the browser. Slideshow time is the time in seconds that each image will be displayed, unless the visitor manually goes to the next or previous image. The Auto Play Slideshow option automatically plays the slideshow when the visitor clicks on an image in the gallery. If this option is not selected, the visitor will need to click play or manually click to see the next or previous image. Show social share buttons in slideshow enables image sharing via Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest during the slideshow. And lastly, you can also allow your visitors to download images using the show download button in slideshow option.